It's like something out of science fiction. Unsettling transformations are sweeping across the planet. And clue by clue, investigators are assembling a new picture of Earth. They suspect we've entered a time of faster global change than any human being has ever witnessed. But we can rise to the challenge, alter the course. It's up to all of us to confront these strange days on planet Earth. Each of us now produce more than 1,500 pounds of trash a year, and the fraction that's plastic is going nowhere but up. If enough of us change what we do in simple ways, we can reduce the threat plastic poses to the ocean. Still, when it comes to plastic, out of sight shouldn't mean out of mind. Fred Vom Saul of the University of Missouri and Don Tillett of the U.S. Geological Survey live and work in the nation's heartland. Alarmed by rising numbers of wild animals found with bizarre developmental and reproductive problems, they've joined a national effort to find the cause. But prime suspects include pesticides, the residue of birth control pills and other drugs in treated wastewater, and a compound found in many familiar plastics, bisphenol A. The problem with chemicals such as bisphenol A is it breaks out of the plastic and leaches into water. Studies show that from water, this chemical can get into animals. And there it can act like a dose of the female sex hormone, estrogen. Too much estrogen can disrupt the endocrine system, and that's been linked to a wide range of health impacts, including gender bending. One critical unanswered question is at what level of exposure these effects occur. With bisphenol A, we're talking about extremely small quantities of this chemical getting into the environment. Samples drawn from this stream had only 30 parts per trillion. Vamsal is worried because studies show tiny amounts of bisphenol A can derail early cell development in mice. And if mice are vulnerable, might people be as well? Recently, Vamsal tested clear plastic baby bottles to see if they release bisphenol A. He devised the simplest of experiments. Let distilled water sit in brand new bottles for 24 hours and then test it. Every one released bisphenol A. Curious, he then decided to see what happens when the same baby bottles are run through an ordinary dishwasher, which heats them to 140 degrees. Some of these bottles, by the time we had washed them 10 times, were leaching 10 times more bisphenol A than they had before they had been washed. The plastics industry vigorously disputes any danger to children from the chemical. They cite the continued blessing of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. But the Japanese are cutting back in their use of bisphenol A, and recent independent studies have motivated the FDA to take a fresh look. 